Welcome to Movie Lounge, where you can find the best answers you possibly can find anywhere for literally no price at all. I'm your host, Stephen Watson, and today we're going to talk about, it's a really cool question that ended up being a two-part question, and let's just dig into this fun stuff. So, the first question is actually from my fiance. She, she asked this really good cool question, I was like, I'll get back to you in about a week on this one. And it's, it's really cool. I enjoy this question a lot. And the first question is, do you think releasing movies during the holidays is a good business or is it the time to, com- or is the time too competitive or are they any good or are there any good Thanksgiving movies that get overlooked? All right. So that's the first question. It's a big doozy one. Um, I don't think releasing a movie during the holidays is a bad thing. I think it's a really good thing. Even though Star Wars is not a Christmas movie, it's coming around Christmas time. So it that's just going to make a ton of money. And I think that is it's benefiting off of Christmas. If you can release a movie that will benefit the holidays, or if you, yeah, if you can release a movie during any holiday and it can benefit it from it, you got good business going for it. It's, but it has to be good. It has to be a movie that people are going to get because Christmas tends to be that Oscar nomination type era for movies. Like if you're going to release a movie like Lord of the Rings was always released during Christmas and it did really successfully good on that. And Avatar, the same thing. It's, it just depends if you feel that this movie is going to benefit from the holidays, then yeah. And the next one is any good Thanksgiving movies that get overlooked. The only movie that I can think of is Thanksgiving feel. Cause it's, it's weird. Cause Thanksgiving is like right in the middle, right in the middle, right after Halloween. Then you have Christmas right after Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is kind of like the holiday that just for movie wise, it just gets overlooked because everyone's pushing for the Christmas movies. And the only good Thanksgiving to me movie is trains, planes and automobiles. And that movie is probably the only Thanksgiving movie that I can think of really. And it's that movie. If you have not seen planes, trains and automobiles, go see it. It's funny. It's a good old school style humor that most comedies don't get these days, and it's hilarious as anything. So I hope though, I hope that answers your question about that whole thing. And the next one is, or maybe you could talk about how different cultures make movies, like comparing American movies to Italian or Japanese. This question I love so much, and it is a question that shows the different styles of movies done by different cultures. Like you have the Japanese, which is a very artistic style and very like just, they show their cultures in it very well in a very artistic way. Like in Last Samurai, which was filmed by an American, it was done in a way that felt Japanese. And with Italian, it's very much, um, I would say, romantic. You have the very, it's, the thing about each country is when they, when a country is making a movie, it, it puts a little bit of what its culture is in the movie. And so you get that sense. Like in America, it's all big explosions and over the top. And with America, we're big on explosions and everything, big events and just over the top on everything. And which isn't bad. It isn't. It just it shows this is what we can do in the film industry. And when you get to like Russia and like um, Italy and just Germany, you're getting post World War Two, in my opinion. You get some of that feeling of just like the whole past is. They put the past into it a little bit, and that's why a lot of Russian movies. I've been to Russia, love the people there. The culture there is amazing. It's one of my favorite places to go visit. 
And you don't get that. When, when I go see a Russian movie, I don't get that at all if I go visit Russia. That's the crazy thing about a lot of places is it, when you go visit a country that you see a movie that's filmed in that country, sometimes you're not going to get that same feel. So it's, it's, it's bizarre. It's one of the bizarre things. But it, it's, it pretty much comes down to when films started in that country. And it just kind of overlays and just builds on and builds on. So you're going to get a lot of that feeling. And when I, went to, when I went to visit Russia to go film there, I didn't get the feelings that I got when I, if I saw a movie that was filmed in Russia. I didn't get the whole post-war feel. Because a lot of times when you see a movie that was filmed in other countries, you're going to get that feeling, which is sad. But, I mean, it, it, that's what happens. And the other interesting thing is America's been known to just do a lot of, like, movies based on different countries. Like, if you see John Wick, that's very heavy in the Russian, and it shows it violent. And then you see them do, like, Pearl Harbor, which is a stupid movie beyond anything. But visually, when it comes to the war part, it's, it's kind of cool in that movie. But it's, you get that whole attack and the anger and stuff. And so it's... It's different. America tends to do a little bit, take things from different countries and splice them all together. It just, it just depends on what you, what you, what you enjoy seeing. And it's, if you like artistic styles, I definitely go see an Asian or Japanese Chinese film and just, just get to feel the culture. You don't have to feel like you have to believe in what they believe, but. It's interesting to have just an open eye and open ears and just seeing what that culture is like and just seeing the artistic. I love watching Asian films because you get to see stuff that you don't get to see in other films from other countries. And that is just the artistic style of it. It's such a beautiful thing. It's just like painting on a canvas for me. In America, I, I like the dumb, stupid movies in America. The summer blockbuster movies where I can shut my brain off like Die Hard and other stuff. So it's, yeah, if I can shut my brain off for a couple of hours, I'm fine if it's an American movie. It doesn't have to, I like thrillers, I, I enjoy those things. So it's, America tends to have a lot of different things in their films, and other countries tend to be stuck on one thing, and which isn't bad. So I hope I, that, that answers your question. Um, we are planning on another special live streaming, I promise it will never it won't be the same setup as the Star Wars episode, which was still good after we fixed all the problems. But it'll be more like the first one the, when we did the Marvel. And we're going to we're gonna go a little bit into the whole Bond. And since November is like that Bond season, it's we're going to do an episode on that. I have a guest that's going to come on. We're going to talk about it, live stream it. So you can literally answer, ask questions while we film it and so, so it's it's gonna be fun. I I'm gonna enjoy that. That's gonna be either Wednesday or Friday. One of those. I'm not sure. If it's not gonna be up this week, it's gonna definitely be this coming week. So it's just we're trying to get it fit in because his work schedule. So yeah. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the questions that were asked and. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.